Hey guys, we are playing another TGC Tours Dream Team Contest entry today. We are playing Farrington Moss by Scottish67. He's representing the red team. He is the defending, as I think, defending rookie team or rookie contest winner from last year, which is about when I started showing up here. So um, he had Ryland Heath and then another course that they just mentioned over there is wing spread, which was really quite good. So he kind of just burst onto the scene and said, hey guys, I'm, I'm going to design the courses. Hope you like them. And we went, yeah, we do. They're quite good. Um, he's not massive on the off course stuff, which is absolutely fine by me. Uh, this parking lot is something. <laughs> um, has this, has this course been dormant for a while or? That, that's that's a little bit that's a little, that's a little bit rough and now I say he's not big on the uh, off course stuff and we got a friggin town over here old school links yep yeah that's what we're looking at some farms oh we're up too high in the clouds now all right let's give this a go I like links so my hopes are high These, these pots look pretty good. Um, HB, please add pot bunkers to the next game. Like, an easy way to make them. Oh, this is cool. We've got sheep out here. Is that what those things are? Or are they goats? No, sheep. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is, this is good. I like this already. We're going to carve it right back into the pot, are we? Or are we going to get over it? Hmm. So into the wind, a slow still gets over the pot. Okay. Oh, wow. Like, this is just... This just looks like it should be here. Oh, hey, FS. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the sub. Amazon money, good. Me like. Yeah, this this is this is nice. I like how it's kind of got this grizzled, like it's. There's no way that a a, um, a bulldozer's been anywhere near this. This is just hundreds of years of the land just kind of getting shaped. Hey, Brenlin. Yeah, it, well, either that or finish with it, uh, Matt. One of the two, because if you play it first, it might it might get you a little bit frustrated about the review queue. The greens are at 157. They shouldn't be fast. It's a Lynx. Hey, Viking. Holy crap, we've hammered that. Doesn't mean the greens are easy. Yeah, I agree, Trail Ducker. Sticking it up on top here is, is, is actually quite a cool idea. Um, and then the town's down there. <laughs> I wouldn't call it blind tee shot necessarily. It's kind of close to it. Partly um, lighting, maybe. Partly just the way that the land is. This just makes sense, though. A little bit blind here. Again, it's going to be... There's some quirks to it. It's a Lynx course. There should be quirks. The thing that I would I find really interesting is... Um, how, you can, how you can create what basically is randomized, like a random plot. And not forcing it. Like, it's... There, there's, a, there's definitely a skill to that. And creating something that looks like it's kind of randomly oh hey it's kind of randomly there but i know there's that randomizing trick that uh mayday came up with but this is a bit more than that i think hills around the greens look like make a total amount of sense Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm guessing this isn't a hugely long golf course because, with especially with it being no links. Yeah, I am Trail Ducker. Both? I, yeah, see, I haven't figured that out yet. I, I heard there was some multiple submitting going on. It's a little, a little par four. I mean, you could hit driver up here, but I didn't really see a point. A hell of a fall off, but again, I like how he's done it with fairway. And then the ball's probably going to stay on fairway. It's going to roll away. Planting's really well done. Oh, this just looks like it fits. Whoa. So he's created an old and a new? Okay, nice. And then, oh wow. Drivable four, ground game for days. Runs off the back. Didn't want that. This is gone. This is so gone. Huh. A little help back there. I wonder if that's meant to be the easy, if that's meant to be an easier pin. Because I would have had no problem with that thing running through everything. Yeah, I got a bit of Velcro fairway, which helped out. That's true. Hmm. I do like the way that the hill is there, so you can run it in on the hill. Um. Yeah, the ground is just being used so well here. It's cool. A tour version for HB, all that, yeah, that'd be cool. Cause they they don't have any links as um officials, do they? Alright, what do we got going on here? Pin dependent, I guess? They've got one? Oh, okay. I'm I'm gonna go over here because I just that that last oh crap. That last pot had me a little concerned. We're gonna need a bounce. <laughs> I bet you do, Maddie. It's a shame about the green on that last hole of that course. We've got two? Oh, wow. I didn't realize. I mean, I never check what official courses they have, right? Because I don't play any official, like, I don't play any modes where they use the official courses. Yeah, that's a good point. Shoreditch is not an easy course. Could you imagine people trying to play um, Divot Derby at Shoreditch? <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> um, I just the way that he's he's sculpted this here, just get a really authentic feel to it in here as well. Yeah, exactly.
Oh boy. That is OB. Okay. Here's your danger. Running to the back. And even if you don't, I mean, I don't think you'll go out of bounds unless you're flying through because it'll hit the rough and the rocks, but that's still not going to be very much fun. If you get it up there, I'm just going to punt one over here, I think. Jeez, I'm surprised it's gone that far into the wind. Oh, don't get in that bunk. Oh, jeez. Ah, wish that was in the bunker. Partly because it would be easier and partly because it just would be better. Yeah, that wall there is really cool. Just a bunch of rocks just kind of tossed down there. Um, and it makes sense that's OB because you're... It's the end of the property, right? Yeah, this is, this is some good stuff. It's a Lynx that's... I mean, this look here is great with the hill, like the hill in the background... It just looks so authentic. Uh, maybe this will be enough. Just how that ball bounced and rolled up there. Wonderful. The kind of odd shaped green works. Yeah. Another win for red. <laughs> oh, I haven't been paying attention. To like who, what color, what team is each course, and just play them. Mm. Yeah, it's not the hardest course in the world. That's okay though. Reasonably short par four, and then you've just got this wall down here. The land movement all makes so much sense. Hey, Patrick. Just the ball landing and rolling. I'm sure there's a bunch of technical stuff here that people would say is awesome that I'm not, I, I just don't have the eye for, but the course itself, I just think it's, it's to me, it's just very authentic. It, it, it fits what you would see as, as a kind of an old school Lynx, right? It, it works. And I like this, there's some subtlety to it as well. It's not this big, you know, look at me kind of course. It's just really, really, really well done at what it is. Like this course is way more than the sum of its parts, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I, I'm with you there, Matt. Well, I guess we're going to go over to this fairway, are we? You're in the cat. You're in quarantine with the cast of the very last show you watched. Who are you stuck with? What's the last show I watched? Give me a second on that one, advocate. Hmm.
Like, I'm literally struggling to think of what it was. Oh, wow, this is quite the green. This is just so cool. Um... It might be, um, that one that had Zoe, um, De Zoe De Chanel, De Chanel. Um, what's that one called? New Girl? I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that might be the last one I've, I watched. Catching up. Yeah, this is this is really cool. I mean, and you, you, you could run it through the front if you wanted to. I wonder if this hole would have worked if it was a little longer what would it have maybe been a little bit better because then you would really want to run it through here oh appreciate that Bellevue thanks for the sub man thank you because I had a short enough shot that I didn't really have to worry about this although a pin right there see that what I like about this is now I'm starting to think about how this hole could play in different situations and whatnot it's cool. It's very cool. Am I seeing? Oh, I am. So here we've got our, our tucked pin but you can get at it with a ridge. So you don't have to go right at, oh, don't go too far left though. Don't go too far left. Yeah, so now I've missed the ridge. Uh, maybe not. And the ridge isn't like beat red, so I still have a hope at this, but it's still not an easy putt. So I, I like I like this kind of design. Where you've got that helping slope, but if you miss it, you could be struggling. Yeah, it's just, it, there's a real randomness to this that makes all the sense in the world for the environment it's in. I mean, the only thing I'm really noticing that I would maybe want to see change is it's a lot of short par fours. Um, it'd be kind of neat to have some longer iron shots into some of these so that you'd be using the ground more. But that would also kind of defeat its identity because if it's an old school Lynx, it's not going to be 7,800 yards. <laughs> it's it's got to be kind of short, doesn't it? So every par five has been into the wind too. Well, that's not very cool. Okay. I'm going over here. Why wouldn't I? Oopsie. A little quick today. I 
All right. Wow. This wouldn't have been a whole lot of fun to try to get two and two. Downhill. Oh, man, I don't know. This view here is really good with the uh, sea in the background. Oh, dear. Okay, that's lucky to stay there. Yeah, this is really well designed, too. I wish I'd hit the fair. Well, although into the wind, maybe I wouldn't have had a chance anyways. Um... That might be my other kind of thing is every par five has been into the wind so far. But yeah, I just wouldn't mind par fives playing in a slightly different direction so that because if you ever got them all downwind, this would be a pushover. Welcome. One bad badger. Thanks for the follow, man. Gooders, how's it going? Um hmm. Does three would make it? This is quite the par four. Driver's too much. It's going flying over everything. Does three would run up here, I wonder. Wonder. Oh, it does if you get it in the right direction. Hmm. Very, very cool. Um, you need to thread the needle. But it's a it's a it's a tee shot on a par four. That's absolutely fine. Um, and you might not quite get all the way there, but you'll get awful close. If you want to take out driver and try to make eagle, well, go for it. That's 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 weak. That's weak. It's just everything about this makes sense to me. Um, I kind of have to, don't I? Oh dear, I've pulled this. Oh no, now what? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm getting closer. I mean, you can eventually get back up. And it's a miserable shot to hit it down there. I'm just trying to think, like, how, how likely is it that somebody would actually hit it down there? I don't think it's terribly likely. The hell did I make there? Bogey? That's not bad for hitting it off a cliff. There's a small issue with how I got down to the ball. I mean, my ankles are broken and I've just pulled my calf, but... Eh, whatever. I don't know that I would... I Making that out of bounds doesn't seem right. And I think, again, I think it takes a pretty crummy shot to hit it down there, so... Kind of a cute little... Quirk of the course. Look at these bunkers in front. My goodness. No. 
No! Stupid bunker. <laughs> I like the bunker, I just don't like the... The hill it put in the green. That's fine. Oh, now we're downhill. No, downhill and downwind on a par 5? Oh boy. This one could go a ways. Um, this might be just me, but particularly when I go on this view, I'm having a hell of a time seeing the difference between the fairway and the green. Or the uh, fair, uh, rough, I mean. That could be the way the lighting is in my room right now. Um, it could be my monitor. It looks fine here. I think it looks perfect here. Just on the yardage book, it's a bit of a tough one. But I don't... I wouldn't really dock the course anything for that. Yeah. Just, it's unfortunate, but I don't think there's much can be done about it, and I wouldn't... Like I said, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't dock at anything for that fact. And it could just be me. Eh. It's kind of dark on there, I guess. Um... Oh. Hey, Scoop. Ah, not quite. I thought it might run down a bit more. I mean, that's a par 5 where you just try to avoid all the bunkers, and if you can, then and it's downwind, you're getting there easy. If you can't, well, then you're not. I want to look at the clubhouse a little bit more now. So there's our put putting green. And then the 18th hole is over here. Sweet. And we're finishing with a par 3. Don't mind that at all. I didn't have any issues with it being dark. Like, the yard book is dark, but... I don't know. Playing the course itself? It felt pretty authentic. Now, yeah, the lighting has changed a bit. It was a bit sunnier earlier. Now it's kind of gotten gray and looks like it might start raining. I'm fine with that. Seventy one hundred. Okay. It doesn't even feel like it plays that long. It just feels like it's quite short. Um, I I think it's I think it's so well done. It's uh, it's it's just it's a great job of of having an environment in mind and executing it right. Like just this looks this looks authentic. It looks like it it looks like something you would find over on that side of the pond. In some kind of remote, out of the way place, there's just this cute little link sitting there. Um, it's just it's it's so well done. I mean, like I said, the only the only real quote unquote criticism I would have is more on the playability side of things. Is there was well, I mean, yardage wise, it just maybe it just played that way because the wind. That might be what it was. I just felt like I was hitting a lot of short irons into everything, into par fours. Um, that could have just been the way the wind was. Because we did have a lot of par fives into the wind. Hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, but oh, it's, it's pure. It's so good. Um, really, really enjoyed that. Great job, dude. Um, amazing to think that this time last year, you were in the rookie contest and nobody really knew who you were. So... <laughs> And now here you are cranking this out, and it's a definitely going to be a standout for uh, for Dream Team. Fantastic job! Um, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching this far. If you've made it this far, please consider hitting the like button so more people can see the kinds of courses these guys are able to create. I will be back with another playthrough for Dream Team, but for now, cheers.